Welcome to Pressure and Flow in Espresso with Bush and Bush Coffee Systems. Today we'll look at the impact of pressure and flow on the espresso puck and we will start with the pressure source, the pump. This is a rotary vane pump, the most common type of pump used in espresso machines today. This is a Fluidatec brand. There are other brands on the market as well, and they all operate under the same principles. Externally, we have a drive shaft, drive tang. This is the mounting collar, mounting flange. Uh, at this end, inlet, outlet, direction of rotation. And this is the pressure limiter assembly, pressure limiter adjusting screw. That's about it externally. Typically speaking, these are sealed units. And if they start to give any trouble or concern, we generally do not try to repair them, simply replace them. We have opened up one unit though, so that we can take a peek inside. This is a Procon pump, another brand of rotary vane pump. Internally we can see four vanes. If we look closely we can see that the top vane here is flush with the vane shaft assembly. And if we look at the bottom here we can see that it is proud. On the sides, slightly proud. Let's watch the shaft do one complete rotation where we can see that the veins move from flush to fully proud and back to flush. The principle of operation is that the water comes in the inlet through this gallery into the chamber here and as the vein starts to become proud of the vein assembly it catches the water, sweeps it through this area and as the galleries start to disappear again, the water has no choice but to exit through the outlet of the pump. We can see deep inside the cross arms which keep the veins in their respective positions. The vein assembly is obviously cylindrical the housing which it is located in is also cylindrical, however it is offset to the centre line of the shaft, meaning that it is eccentric. This is how the shaft orientates the veins within the eccentric housing and allows them to become flush, proud, flush. That. Um, principle of operation means that these pumps would be classed as a positive displacement pump meaning that any movement of the shaft transmits 100% transfer to movement of the media and theoretically an infinite amount of torque applied to the shaft can create an infinite amount of pressure of course, we know that an infinite amount of pressure is not supplied by these pumps, otherwise they would disintegrate. A pressure limiting assembly is located inside here. And we'll have a look at how that works now. The pressure limiter is integral 
to the espresso machine operation. Let's have a look at how it works. We can take the screw out here. And inside we'll find a plunger. plunger seat and the spring which sits on there. The adjusting screw applies pressure to the spring, the spring collapses and applies pressure to this plunger to keep it located in a seat in here which blocks path of water from the exit to the inlet. As water is forced by this positive displacement pump into the water galleries circuit, if there is a restriction there and not all of the water can pass through, pressure will start to increase. The same as putting your thumb over the end of the garden hose. If you try and clamp the thumb over the hose fully, Pressure is created and it blows the thumb off the end of the hose. In this scenario, if we restrict the flow out of the pump and pressure builds, it tries to find the weakest point within the entire circuit. And that has been engineered in here with the pressure limiter. Whatever a pressure is applied via the spring to the plunger, as the pressure increases in the water meets the pressure that's applied by the screw to the, to the spring to the plunger, the water pressure will increase and overcome that and find its way back through and recirculate around the pump there, back into there and around and it starts to recirculate. So if we apply 9 bar of pressure using the spring to the plunger it will take 9 bar of pressure in the water circuit to overcome that. It means that whatever pressure we apply here is the maximum pressure that can be applied to the entire water circuit. Thus, if we set a pressure of 9 bar of pressure here, 9 bar is the maximum pressure that can be achieved by this pump in our espresso machine. Likewise, if we wind that screw out, apply less pressure to the spring, say 8 bar, then 8 bar will be the maximum pressure that can be achieved by this pump in the water circuit. So that's the operation of the vein pump. Typically fitted to the espresso machine. Next, we'll have a look at restrictors and how they combine with the pressure setting of the pump to create flow.